Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia, and today I'm reviewing an HO scale 50 foot GARX refrigerator car from Atlas. These cars were produced in the 1950s. This car has a stencil date of 1960, so it would probably be appropriate for any 1960 zero layout. This car has an MSRP of $32.95. The car has separately applied ladders. The vertical rods on the doors are also separate. The stirrups are nice and delicate looking. The paint on the car is overall very crisp and even, and all the small writing is legible. Our sample did have a small paint flaw under the road number on one side. This could probably be concealed with some weathering. The end ladders are separately applied pieces, as are the tack boards. The car comes equipped with Accumate knuckle couplers. The couplers on both ends were mounted at the correct height, according to the KD coupler height gauge. The car does not have uncoupling levers or trainline air hoses pre-installed. However, these parts are included in the box to be installed by the modeler. The brake detail in the B end is good. The brake platform is made of plastic, but is partially see-through and looks sort of like a photo etched part. The roof walk is plastic, but has really good detail and looks almost like a photo etched part. I also like the corner grab irons, which are very delicate looking. The car has full underbody detail and brake rigging. The car weighs 4.5 ounces, which is exactly what the recommended weight is for a car of this length. It's equipped with metal wheels. One of the wheel sets was slightly narrow in gauge according to the NMRE standards gauge. Overall, this is a pretty nice model. I was a little disappointed with the paint flaw on one side. However, it's small enough that it could be concealed as a rust spot or something if the car was weathered. So I'm going to let that go. I'm going to take a spike off for the wheels being out of gauge. So my final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.